He went to there. He don't come to God. He went to there. Get a hot meal of you. Yeah. 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 They got to set signs for great. Yeah. Yeah. So customary there. All this stuff you pour <laughs> down here. Yes, so, yes, so. When you leave this world, you yeah. got to leave it behind. Yeah. Scripture said we brought uh, nothing yeah. into this world. Yeah. Uh huh. And it's saying that yeah. we carry yeah. nothing out. Said that uh, the love of money, uh huh. It didn't say money itself, but the love of money, love is the driving force, the, the thing that makes you seek after money, the thing that makes you appreciate money more than you do your family, makes you appreciate money more than you do God. The love of money is the root of all evil. And uh, some have gone contrary or err in God. And our text, Peter, reminds us of how God really can be. Because Sunday after Sunday, day after day, we talk about His goodness or oh, His mercy. How he blesses us in spite of. We talk about how his mercy uh, endures forever. Amen. To the end that some folk have forgotten about. Yeah. That when God gets angry. Uh -huh. And when God gets tired. No mercy, there's no defense yeah. against God. Amen. You understand if I get mad and I hit you, you can call the police on me. Uh -huh. Y'all understand, but the police don't have jurisdiction over God. The police don't have authority over God. When God gets angry with you, when God has had enough of you, when God decides to do something, there's no higher authority. There's no court you can take God to. No judge who have jurisdiction over God. And yet God has the power to give life or death. Amen. You understand that? Oh, yes. God is it's in his hands. Yes. Whether we live or die. Oh, we must understand that eventually yeah. as much as it seems like you're getting away. <laughs> you understand uh -huh. that? Some of us, perhaps, if God had stopped us a long time ago, we wouldn't be so confident in thinking that we're going to get by with God. We wouldn't be so uh, nonchalant in believing that if we were wrong, God would have stopped us. God does not micromanage. You understand that. He, he gives us choices. Yeah. And with every choice, there are consequences. Yeah. In school, they call it cause and effect. Y'all yeah. understand yeah. that. Yeah. If you do good things, yeah. then good things will follow you. Yeah. But if you do bad things, yeah. bad things will follow yeah. Because the scripture says, be not deceived. Yeah. God is not lost. Whatever man so that uh, tell y'all so to do. It ain't just a stroke of luck. Y'all understand? You're not hitting no bad spot. You're not just coincidentally in your luck. Look back to what you have done and you'll see why you are where you are. Praise the Lord. To the lines of the God, even of old. Thank you. When the angels were disobedient. Yeah. How did God take them and train them up? Right. Cast them in the darkness. Yes. Yes. And reserve them down unto judgment. Reminds us how that he told Noah the preacher. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go and tell this sinful world. Yes. That if they keep on sin, after a while it's going to rain. 
reminds us that when Noah preached, yeah. you have to tell them day in and day out, yeah. it's going to rain. When God got good and ready, the Bible said he destroyed the whole world yeah. of sinful, ungodly Amen. people Amen. and saved Noah being the eighth person. Yeah. And it says, Noah was a preacher of righteousness, uh -huh. bringing in the flood on the world of the, of the ungodly. Yeah. Yeah. Noah was living right yeah. in a wrong world. Yeah. As a result, God, yeah. when he destroyed the world, yeah. he remembered Amen. Noah. Amen. Sometimes we want to go along just to get along. Uh -huh. And you understand, everybody else is doing it. Yeah. We don't want to stand out. Yeah. And we don't want nobody telling us, what do you think you holier than that? Right. Right. I guess you think you are a saint or yeah. something. Uh -huh. But the Bible says that we are called to be saints. Yeah. Saint is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. We are called to be saints. That's yeah. a person whose heart is not right. A person whose heart is lifted towards God. That's what yeah. saint. Who is right in the wrong world? Yeah, yeah. We're called to be saints. Amen. Don't let folk think, make you think that's a negative thing. That's right. That's right. All that that's somebody in a certain kind of church. Yeah. You can't sing when the saints go marching in. Right. Y'all ain't saying yeah. like, right. I want to be in that number. Yeah. And yet live and act like a sinner. Y'all right. right. And you, you'll be out of place to march in with saints if we want to stay a sinner. Amen. 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 It just wouldn't be like right. that. We have to say when the saints and sinners go on. But then you know what I'm saying? I want to be a sinner. But now, though, when the saints go on, then you would have to strive and like endeavor to become a saint. Amen. And we'll be right. I'll be right. Amen. And a long word. Amen. Sometimes we get so. Hung up on our so-called friends. Uh -huh. We have no intention of doing right. Uh -huh. Have no intention, no desire, no aspiration yeah. to live for God. Yeah. Uh -huh. But we value their friendship so much. Uh -huh. Y'all listen. Uh -huh. Until rather than trying to be right, yeah. right. we just want to be. Y'all yeah. listen. Yeah. We, we just want to be with yeah. folks. Yeah. Who are wrong, uh -huh. even though we know that we ought to be right. Amen. You find folk who don't want to be right. Uh -huh. You can keep on trying to remain in that company. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I think Noah made a good decision. Oh, yes, he did. To be right in a wrong way. Amen. Because when God got tired, uh -huh. he brought on the flood. Yes. And they used to sing, and I reckon since it didn't scare nobody, they don't sing it no more, but they used to sing a song, It's Gonna Rain. Uh, Amen. Amen. And they said that it's gonna rain again. Yeah. But next time, it won't be water. That's right. But it'll be fire yeah. Yeah. next time. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the word that God said. I mean, for example, God is so comfortable. Right? Yeah. Since it's taken God so long. Yeah. You understand? They put in their mind that God is not coming back. Amen. Though God has changed his mind or something. But the Bible says one a thousand years with the Lord is just like one day. So he says when they come and say, oh, the Lord has not come. He will says the fathers fell asleep. Yeah. They come and tell you that apparently he's not coming back. Uh, Peter says, God is not slack concerning his promises. As uh, some men would count slackness. But God is not willing to us that any man would perish, but that all would come to repentance and have a lasting life. I said another way, every day that he wakes you up, yes. it's just another chance he's giving me. Hallelujah. To get right today what was wrong yes. yesterday. Yes. Just another chance 
he's giving you of getting closer to him. Some of us have lived long lives. Some of us have gotten a little up in age and still can't come out of our foolishness. Still cannot come down out of the mess. Still cannot hear bones crack and eyesight dim, steps sharp. And still cannot make it out that we're not coming in to the hospital for Jesus. Understand. Except God calls. Some sickness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Except we get some fatal disease. Amen. And then becomes imminent. Yeah. We act as if though we're not going to die. Yeah. The moment God allows some sickness to come. Yeah. Well then we want to put away everything. Oh, yeah. And just try to make sure we make it in. And I think there's some wisdom to that, but you ought to take it a step further. Amen. Yeah. And you ought to this day act as if though you do have a deadly disease. Yeah. Yeah. Because the reality is we do all have something yeah. you don't die for. Amen. Sin, the Bible says, brings forth death. Yeah. And after death comes the judgment. Yeah. And just as sure as you were born, yeah. you are going to die. Yeah. Nobody knows the day, the hour, the hour. Sometimes doctors can try to predict. Sometimes they'll tell you, you may live a month. Yeah, uh -huh. They said that about folk who have lived 10 years. Yeah. 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 Because they don't know. Yeah. But nobody can promise you any amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. So it's best to live as if though you are expected yeah. 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 Don't wait until you get some dread for disease, but you ought to say, today, right now, for God, I live, and for God, I die. Because not only are you in danger of judgment, but if you live for God, God will bless you. Yes, you will. The Spirit said, you be winning and obedient. You, you can eat the good of the land. It says, when a man's ways will please the Lord, yes, yes, yes. he'll make even his enemies yes, yes. be at peace with him. Yes, yes. Say, the eyes have not seen, yes. neither have ears heard. Right. Now they have lived into the heart of man. The good thing that God has in store for him to love him. Scripture yes. said that God has laid up for us yes. a crown of life. That is given by God, the just and righteous judge. That no matter what you have gone through in life here, yeah. whether it has been hard or whether it seemed easy, yeah. God is able. Yes, and you will live for God. Yeah. The Bible says, delight yourself, therefore, in the Lord. And he will give you yes. the desires of your heart. Blessed is the man. They walk not in the counsel of the high God, nor standing in the way of sinners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That word blessed means happy. Uh -huh. You understand that. If, if you would refrain from sinful yeah. thoughts. Yeah. Solomon said, my son, if sinners entice me, uh -huh. consent thou not. Amen. That is, you ought to be able to just say no. Yeah. I don't care what kind of game you think you're going to get. I don't care how enticing it appears. I don't care what they say they'll give you. Even Jesus, when he was tempted by the devil, did you hear him say, if you would bow down and worship him, all the kingdoms of this world will I give unto you.